Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, on this first Friday of the year, we are blessed to have here with us the replica image of Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno from Quiapo Church. Let us entrust our whole year to Jesus, the Nazarene, the beloved Son of the Father. We are also joined today by the Comelec family who offered this Mass in thanksgiving for the past year and entrusting this year to our Lord Jesus. May you continually be blessed in your mission. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Cast your kindly light upon your faithful, Lord, we pray. And with the splendor of your glory, set their hearts ever aflame. 
that they may never cease to acknowledge their Savior and may truly hold fast to Him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one who testifies, and the Spirit is truth. So there are three that testify, the Spirit, the water, and the blood, and the three are of one accord. If we accept human testimony, the testimony of God is surely greater. Now the testimony of God is this, that he has testified on behalf of his Son. Whoever believes in the Son of God has this testimony within himself. Whoever does not believe God has made him a liar by not believing the testimony God has given about his Son. And this is the testimony. God gave us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. Whoever possesses the Son has life. Whoever does not possess the Son of God does not have life. I write these things to you so that you may know that you have eternal life. You who believe in the name of the Son of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has granted peace in your borders. With the best of wheat, he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth. Swiftly runs his word. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Please stand. heavens were opened and the voice of the father thundered this is my beloved son listen to him The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord.
This is what John the Baptist proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It happened in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. On coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open and the Spirit like a dove descending upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. We hear in the baptism episode of Jesus that it was the Father himself who said and who identified who he is, telling all of us that he is the beloved Son of the Father, and the Father is well pleased in him. Ang Diyos Ama ang nagsabi kung sino siya, kung sino at ano ang halaga niya. My dear brothers and sisters, let this be a reminder to all of us. Do not let the world dictate who you are. It is only God who knows your true worth. Huwag niyong hayaang sabihin ng mundo kung ano ang halaga niyo, kung sino kayo. Ang Diyos lamang ang makapagsasabi, sino ba talaga kayo? At ang Diyos lamang ang nakakaalam at nakakakita ng tunay ninyong halaga. In our first reading today from the first letter of John, we are also reminded of this, that the testimony of this world is not what is important. Jesus did not depend on the testimony of this world to say who he is. Jesus is only dependent on the testimony of God of the testimony of the Father, telling Him who He is, telling Him His true worth, that He is the beloved Son of the Father. Mga minamahal na kapatid, maraming beses nakadepende tayo sa kung ano ang sasabihin ng mundo sa atin. There are many times that we are dependent on the testimony of this world. Kaya nga minsan, takot na takot tayo sa sasabihin ng mga chismosa sa atin. Huwag kayong nakadepende sa sasabihin ng iba. Many times, we see our worth by what other people would say our worth is. That is why sometimes, we easily please the world, but we fail to please God. Madali nating bigyang pansin ang kapwa natin. Kaya tuloy lahat gagawin natin para tumaas lang ang tingin nila sa atin. Kahit minsan masama na ang ginagawa natin, gagawin pa rin natin para tumaas tayo sa tingin ng iba. Pero, 
kapag Diyos na parang hindi na nating kayang gawin to please God. My dear brothers and sisters, let us be reminded that it is not the world who will dictate who you are. Because many times, you will just be disappointed and frustrated if you let the world dictate who you are. Let us imitate Jesus. He did not depend on the testimony of this world. He depended on God who knows His true worth, who knows who He is. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this celebration of the Mass, let us be reminded that it is only God who knows our true worth. Amen. Please stand. At the baptism of Jesus in the River Jordan, we are reminded of our own baptism where we are made children of God, enabling us to call God our Father. We now approach Him as we say, God our Father, be pleased with us. God our Father, be pleased with us. That the people of God who are washed clean by baptism may enjoy the freedom and the dignity as children of God. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God our, our Father, Father, be pleased with us. That the state may protect and respect the freedom and dignity of each citizen by implementing programs which will improve their quality of life. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God our, our Father, be pleased with, with us. That families and communities may truly experience their oneness with one another through their life and practice of the faith. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God our, our Father, be pleased with us. That the sick and those who suffer may be freed from their physical or psychological infirmities. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God our, our Father, be pleased with us that the faithful departed may come to share in the happiness of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God our, our Father, be pleased with us. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. God, our Father, in Jesus, your Son, we are made heirs of your kingdom. Grant that as we pray for one another, we may inherit that kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. <laughs>
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this awe-filled mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours, and begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. 
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Benedict the Sixteenth, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he, who was united with your Son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who touch us through our partaking of your sacrament, work we pray the effects of its power in our hearts, that we may be made fit to receive your gift through this very gift itself. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Again, our thanks to all of you who have joined us in this celebration. We thank Comelec Chairman for inviting the Comelec community to celebrate this Thanksgiving Mass together with us here. After the Mass, you may venerate the image of the Nazareno enthroned at the side of the cathedral. The farewell Mass for the replica image of the Nazareno will be this afternoon during our lunchtime Mass. This evening also at 5 p.m., we will be celebrating a Requiem Mass in honor of our Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. It will be celebrated by our beloved Archbishop Jose Cardinal Advincula together with the Apostolic Nuncio Archbishop Charles Brown. Everyone is welcome and invited to celebrate this Eucharist to thank the Lord for the gift of the life of Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.